welcome to the Game Forum. My name is Lindsay. This week I'm going to be doing the review for the multiplayer part of 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. To start, I'm going to talk about the graphics and audio. There's definitely been a major graphical upgrade over the last Call of Duty, especially when you look at stuff like the smoke effects off the barrels of guns. After you shoot a lot, you can see the smoke and it'll actually drift depending on which way you tilt the gun. It's a really small thing to add, but just helps make the game that much more detailed and richer. The lighting effects have also been drastically changed, giving it a much more realistic feel to it. And the metal textures really do look a lot more like metal. Also, the gun sounds in this Call of Duty are probably some of the most accurate I've heard yet. They just have a very deep, billowy sound to it. Sounds really good. Moving on, one thing I really love in this game is just the pure amount of customization in it. This game is all about customization. There is a ton of customizations when it comes to guns. You can level them up, and the more you level each gun up, the more things you unlock to customize it with. There's really a lot here you can mess around with. You can put a shorter barrel on it, add a suppressor, maybe a compensator, put a grip on it, maybe a laser. Take the stock off, change out what type of sight you want on it, change out what type of magazine you want to carry in, and then you also have different skills for each gun. This includes going fully loaded to carry a maximum amount of ammo, or you can switch it up, maybe have super penetrating rounds to shoot through walls. It's a really interesting feature, and I'm really glad they moved this section over to the weapon itself. But with all this customization, one thing they really needed was to add the gun range. It's really strange they didn't add it into this Call of Duty, since the last couple already had one. Being able to make a couple tweaks and take it out to the range for just a quick test would have been really helpful. All in all, this is probably one of the most balanced Call of Duties I've played. I really like the separation between assault rifles, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. I also really like how sniper rifles really take a lot more skill to use now. The quick scoping has been taken out. So when you get a kill with a sniper rifle, you really feel like you've earned it. With all this customization, I'm kind of surprised they didn't let you completely customize a character like in World War II. Instead we have the operator system again, which is okay. It does limit the amount of customization you can put in, but you can go through and unlock different outfits for each character and some of them are more than just changing the color like in previous games they can give them completely new outfits which I like and appreciate gives it a good variety of design I also like how to unlock some of them you are forced to go through and play in the co-op spec ops mode and in the story mode if you really want a certain character this can really get you to play a certain part of the game you otherwise might have overlooked I think that was pretty clever on the part of the developers. Getting into the next bit is the levels. There's a lot of controversy going on over the levels right now. Most of the levels seem to be based on a more realistic and natural design. They're not really set up to be levels per se, more or less a more realistic depiction of the environment it's supposed to be replicating, which is understandable. I do really like the level intros. It really helps get you immersed and pumped as soon as the game starts. Although, I have had a couple glitches at the start of the level where it didn't load correctly. A lot of the levels are set up for very tight corridors and close quarters, which I really like and enjoy. However, this has led to a good bit of camping I've seen too. This Call of Duty is definitely set up for more of a faster, more chaotic nature, which I really like and enjoy. You're not really going to be able to have a huge gunfight and sink a lot of rounds into each other. It's pretty much going to be first person to see the other person and pull the trigger is going to win. Although weapons do play a key role. If you're at long range and have a shotgun, you're not going to be able to beat a heavy machine gun or an assault rifle. Which is the way it should be. It definitely feels more balanced. Now I do see a lot of people complaining about a certain shotgun that can use slugs and hit for a long distance. And I say, this is probably okay, because unlike the 1887 shotgun, this one only has two shots. So after those two shots, you are put at a steep disadvantage when taking on groups of people. One thing I've really come to like a lot 
is being able to go in and turn on and off what modes you want to play. If you want to play Team Deathmatch, you can turn all the other modes off. If you want to select a variety of objective-based modes, but maybe not Domination, you can turn the rest on and turn Domination off. And then it'll put you through a playlist of all those types of modes, excluding the ones you've taken off. This is a brilliant feature, and I really hope to see this implemented in future Call of Duties. One thing it does get rid of, though, is the map vote. So you will get stuck playing some maps you don't really want to play over and over again. Another thing that was supposed to be implemented a little bit more, from what I understood, was all the maps have a night version of it. But you hardly ever play on the night versions of the maps. I find this a little strange. It is fun, and it's a good change of pace. It just doesn't seem to come up very often. Another thing I find interesting with how they're doing this game is there's no prestige mode in it. Instead, they're going to have seasons, where once you hit max level, you'll start leveling up through the season, earning unique unlocks. I really like this. The people who get to stick around with Call of Duty and have played it a bunch will get to have some unique rewards newer players won't have just jumping in. Which kind of sucks if you're just starting to play the game, but also gives a bit more of a reward to people who've stuck around with the game, which I do think is fair. Another thing is all of the tiers in the season can be unlocked with currency. I don't really like this, but I also understand it. It's a good way for them to make money, and there aren't any weapons locked behind this either. It's mainly just cosmetics and customization, which I'm okay with. Talking a little bit more about the currency, there is no way to earn the currency for free in the game. I do find this is a little lacking as most games allow you to earn at least some premium currency now, but I also think it's okay because again, it's only cosmetic. A couple other game modes to highlight is Ground War, a 32 versus 32 mode, more like Battlefield including vehicles. This one definitely has you thinking a little more tactically, a lot less running and gunning, and is a great area for sniper rifles and marksman rifles. I've had a lot of fun with this mode, but there's only two maps, which is a little limiting. I'm hoping they'll add more soon. Another highlighted mode is Gunfight. This is a 2v2 mode with set weapons, where everyone ends up starting with the same stuff. This adds for quick, tense gunfights, which is a lot of fun, but not quite my cup of tea. Lastly is the Spec Ops mode, more of a survival mode based loosely off the campaign. It's definitely best to play this with friends. Trying to play this with a lot of random people online can get a bit frustrating because you lack the coordination to really do anything much. Although it is a nice change of pace from zombies. But the levels definitely are a little bit more bare bones than the zombie levels. I do think the zombie levels were better executed, but the mode I really wish they would bring back would be the extinction mode from Ghost. To me, that was the best. So overall, I think this Call of Duty has an improvement in graphics, a really good weapon customization system, I'm sad they lost the gun range, that was desperately needed. The levels were okay, but there's not really any standout levels. I am glad they got rid of the prestige mode as favor of this new system. I don't like that there's no way to earn in-game currency. The operator system is okay but I would have much rather had more customization and been able to create my own character to go along with being able to customize my weapons so much. Ground War and Gunfight are a lot of fun, but I did find Spec Ops lacking a bit. Overall, I think the multiplayer in 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare is really good and a lot of fun. It's definitely worth checking out if you've been a fan of some of the previous Call of Duties. That's it for this week. Thanks again for tuning in. Check back with us for more videos coming out soon.